This is my video for Stage 6, Metal Gear Solid of InRange TV's High Desert Brutality 2023. Shooter begins by stabbing his target, then retrieving their rifle off the ground. I have the bipod deployed, but the legs are not extended. I go as far forward on the rock as I can, so my elbow makes contact with it for support, and my upper body is making contact with it as well. The first target was a static steel requiring two hits because it's an intermediate cartridge I'm shooting. Then I engage the spinner, neutralize it quickly, and then finish on that second static target. Rifle's on safe. Now it's time to go down the hill. From the first position here, I'm going to be acquiring a Mark 23 pistol. As used in the Metal Gear Solid game, I have one round to make a hit at about 40 yards. I do not make the hit. With the pistol empty, I then crawl underneath the table and get into the shoot house where I will draw my pistol and start engaging pistol targets throughout the shoot house. From this first position, there's a spinner target. This spinner actually has holes in the center of it, and there's a no-shoot located behind it. I do successfully rotate it without knocking over the no-shoot. This is the one stage where I wish I had my POV cam, but unfortunately I didn't bring it with me to this match. If I did have someone follow behind me, most of what they would have gotten is just the RO and the walls. It's difficult to actually observe the shooter and what they're shooting inside the shoot house here. That's why the person recording me just stayed up on the hill, and uh, I've edited this to zoom in as much as possible. From this position, I'm engaging the auto poppers adjacent to the no-shoots. I do tag this second no-shoot here on that first shot fired. I saw my sights shift as I broke the shot. Ultimately, that's going to be the only penalty I accrued during the match. From this last position, I'm engaging these knockdown plates through the Know Your Limits plate rack. The only one that was really tricky was the final one that had a 4-inch hole through the center of it. Without that 30-second no-shoot penalty, I would have had a division-winning run. But with it, I'm 7th in partisan and 13th overall on this stage. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Come back again for more action shooting competition content. And always remember, the Second Amendment is for everyone.